be happy if they do the gangster grip, okay? Because guess what? Guns jam when somebody has a limp wrist. It's really hard. Again, these, these studs aren't at the firing range right before practicing for their, uh, for their mugging the following day. So, from here, bang, same exact thing. All right, bang. Just because they're holding it that way, it doesn't make any difference. The only thing that's good is the gun will often jam and won't even fire if you, even if you didn't do anything and they tried to shoot you that way. Sometimes it doesn't fire. I purposely, at the gun range, fired guns gangster grip style, even in Glocks, which rarely jam. And um, you know, you get what we call a double feed and the, uh, and the gun will jam up. So no problem, we'll talk about all that stuff next week. What we really want to talk about, we're going to talk about this position. Oh, all right. So these are the more common areas. People want to be inconspicuous, right? Unless you're in, a, in an alleyway, maybe it'll be like this. Otherwise, you know, my little brother was uh, held up at an ATM machine. You know, a guy came from behind like this. So you got here and close, here and close, here and close, and here and close. These are the most common spots. Boom. Who's shooting who now, right? <laughs> so watch again. Okay, whatever you want, I'll put my hands in my front pocket. Look, I just deflected the gun. Bang. All right, pull your arm back in. Good. And then from here, we can obviously strip the gun. And we're going to get into that. Today, since we're running short on time, we're going to get the two sides in front of your arm. All right? First things first. Boom. Deflected. Getting out of the line of fire. Watch, right now, if this hand's low enough, I can go palm down, because that's ideal. You can see my thumb is behind his wrist, so he can't turn his wrist back towards me. All right? And it's just easy to pull him past me. That gets him off balance, too. Now I grab the slide, get closer to the hammer, turn, and down to strip. And I always push him away for help me create space. All right? But before anything, we're going to start with just this. Okay. okay, whatever you want, getting out of the line of fire, pulling the pass. If I can pull them off like that, that's even better. Uh, there's going to be times where they're a little bit higher, and you don't feel like you can get up there. Or they're too low, and you don't feel like you can get it. It's okay to go palm up as well. The same exact technique will apply. But anytime we feel comfortable going palm down. So from here, I might not take it too long to get all the way up on top of his wrist, so I might go underneath. In this case. Boom, I still pull them past and I'm still doing the same defense. Alright. Right now, ten times each, you're gonna bring your hands up like you're about to put them in your front pockets, but you're not mad that you're doing anything aggressive. <coughs> All you're doing is just being submi acting submissive. Boom, just do that. Ten times each. Boom. Any questions? No, sir. Okay, good.